Hello. Well, I think said that was an I'm Amanda and I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was fun. It kind of reminded me like a, a spy kids sort of way. But I'm going to jump right into the juicy stuff. So kids, cover your ears. Because you two had an on-screen kiss. <laughs> yeah. You know I had to ask about that. So can you tell us uh, about it? How nerve-wracking was was it or embarrassing? Or what, what, which was more embarrassing, having to do that or talk about it with me now? <laughs> <laughs> I think having to do that. Yeah. It was just in front of so many people. Yeah, like it was like we filmed it at the very, very end. So like we got a lot mm -hmm. of time to like hang out and like get really close as friends. So that was great. But the fact that like... There was like 50 people watching us do it. That was like a little bit like, ooh. Scary, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> was, the, was the other people on cast watching it too? Keith was there and he had to like uh, look scream or something. It was really, really funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you talked about working, you know, with Owen and, and Michael, but this one had so many kids on the set too. Well, young adults, right? Young adults. Young adults. Uh, <laughs> so how was that? How was it like on set with so many people your age? It was really fun. I honestly, all of us connected really fast, which was awesome. They like actually brought us down two weeks early to do like team bonding exercises. And like, we got uh -huh. to play around a lot. So it was really cool that I got to, like, we got to hang out with kids our own age all the time. Yeah, it was really fun. I have another though quote from the movie that I was interested in because it was just some, I don't forget who said it, but they said beyond tight, the tightest. So it made me laugh just the slang that they use, tight and tightest, since I have teens, you know, I know all the slang, I, I cap, no cap, all that. So I just wondered if y'all like had any say in um, the script or to make it cooler for that age or anything like that? We did, but I think Rel and Henry were mostly on top of that. They were really good with that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I think there was one scene um, that I did with Abby James, like the first TikTok scene that was actually improv and then they actually yeah. put it in the script, which That's is funny, which was new for me. But they were super open about like what we think about the script and everything. All right. I have a deep one for you. <laughs> Do you own a fanny pack? <laughs> <laughs> and if you can put your suit in anything, like he would his fanny pack, what would you all pick? I don't own a fanny pack, do you? I do not own a fanny. You know who does own a bunch of fanny packs? Because I. Because I. I love fanny packs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's such a cool style, too. Mm -hmm. What would you put your suit in? I would probably put my suit in a watch. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, oh, that would be sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think similar. I feel like I'd put it in like jewelry or something that I wear every day. Yeah. I think those are good choices. Good choices. Thanks. 